Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. You know, when I'm making spaceships, I always think about survival. You know, not only the ability to go from point A to point B, but what happens if something bad happens? If an engine blows up, if you run out of fuel, if you get hit by a meteorite, something of that nature. What other way can the Kerbal be able to survive? And that is, of course, through escape pods. Now the question is, how big should the, should the escape pod be? Should it be? big and huge and bulky or should it be something economic small just have enough fuel to get away you know that kind of thing have small little supplies just in case there's planet fall involved or if you land on the moon or whatever the case is something something that can keep the Kerbal alive for a long enough period of time to where they can get rescued or should it be some sort of large you know yacht kind of craft that can keep a Kerbal alive for a very long time Time, if not even be able to uh, work as a secondary spacecraft of some kind to get them to their destination. So it, it depends. What, what should an escape pod be? And in my opinion, I guess you could say, the escape pod system should be to keep Kerbals alive for the duration of whatever mission that they're on. Enough, long enough to get a rescue party. Now I realize that a lot of these missions, the ship is by itself and there's no Nobody coming up you know behind the craft so if something was to happen and these guys popped out in a tiny little economic space escape pod you know they would probably just linger out there before they finally die so different escape pods are meant for different missions that would have to be the case so small economic escape pods would be for cases where they can be rescued in a relatively decent amount of time uh something like in the future or something of that nature whereas you know the engine technologies are able to get a ship from point a to point b within a matter of hours or days rather than than weeks and months, you know, so it would it'd really depend on technology. So something like NASA-based escape pods, I could see, well, they wouldn't even be called escape pods, it'd be more like escape craft, where they would be huge, um, big enough to be able to support life for months, if not um, years, uh, until they can be rescued. But for something that's more futuristic, further down the line, I could see the escape pod getting smaller and smaller and smaller, because of the simple fact that technology would be getting higher and higher and higher to the point where you wouldn't need to be able to sustain that Kerbal's life for so long until they were able to get rescued by the futuristic technology of the time. So in this instance, I was figuring out, well, if we're going to go for economy class, how small should it be? What should it pack in it? Should it have engines? Uh, what kind of engines? Uh, how much fuel? Uh, should it have some sort of um, electric uh, generation uh, capability? Uh, all that jazz. So I played around with a few prototypes. The first idea was to have enough fuel to be able to maybe change the orbital course. You know, it, if, if something happened to the ship, if it was in orbit or if it was, uh, uh, you know, if it was falling out of orbit, the escape pod could change its course, have enough delta V to be able to do that. Uh, if if it fell to a moon, would it have enough s a delta V to be able to slow down and stop, or you know steer away without being flung into you know out deep outer space and be lost forever? So I wanted to keep things simple. So I just said, well, let's just pretend that this escape pod that I'm going to uh, figure out and design uh, comes uh, with uh, some sort of cryo sleep ability. So it can be small and have a Kerbal live you know for years if necessary, so long as the cryo-sleep chamber had enough energy and power to keep the Kerbal frozen. Kind of like in the original Aliens when Ripley was frozen and it was years and years and years before she was rescued. So if if that's the case, if there's a small tiny little escape pod that keeps the Kerbal frozen, then what should be on it? Should there should there even be food on it? Well, you never know, because something might happen where the escape pod might float into the atmosphere of another planet, in which case if it if it lands then you need some sort of way to uh, nourish the Kerbal uh, or whatever the case may be uh, if if that's not the case it should have some sort of ability to generate power to have the Kerbal go back to sleep or whatever you know you, you, there's some there's got to be some kind of cheap uh, economic way to keep the Kerbal alive regardless of the circumstance so what I did was I built um, a tiny little 
uh, escape pod. It has a, a heat shield just in case of re-entry into an atmospheric planet. It's got fuel, it's got engines, it's got a parachute just in case. It's got enough fuel in it where it can slow down, stop if it is a moon or something of that nature. It has uh, a trunk space basically so that if, if the Kerbal does land on a, a breathable or even non-breathable atmospheric planet, it can it can have a satellite dish and, and some other stuff to uh, put out like a, a distress signal or distress beacon or whatever the case is. But funny enough, as I was building the escape pod, I thought, well, the escape pod has to, you know, it has to be attached to a, a spaceship of some kind, right? But uh, I didn't have a spaceship really to, that housed any escape pods whatsoever, so I ended up building one. <laughs> now, it's not the best spaceship in the world. I definitely wouldn't go PvPing in actual combat with this craft. It was just a uh, basically a a concept uh, craft that would house the escape pod or the the design that I had made but knowing me I, I couldn't stop there I had to make it look good so I ended up building not only the uh, housing for the escape pods but also fuel and engines and it looked kind of like a, a warship of some kind after I started getting fiddling with it so I gave it missiles and of course the missiles I didn't like it I didn't, I didn't like the fact that the missiles would just stick out and be out in the outer space they had to be tucked away so I designed a whole tucking away missile system and before I freaking knew it I had an entire damn working uh, complex spacecraft just to just to house these <laughs> escape pods that I had built for purely conceptual reasons and I was like oh boy I spent way too much time building that damn ship but it, it was fun it was actually pretty fun now the ship itself like I said before is, is not PvP worthy whatsoever um, but uh, it's super crunchy but it looked cool and uh, when I tested out all the systems for the escape pod systems and whatnot it, it was pretty neat to, to, to play around with that now I do have a mod that adds uh, other solar systems systems into the game and so I added one more solar system into the game and looked for a Kerbal like planet around there and I pretended that the spacecraft had some sort of hyper jump technology or whatever and got attacked uh, around the orbit of this alien world and uh, how, how that would work with the escape pod system and what's over and it worked, worked pretty good actually uh, if it wasn't for the fact that there was some hiccups but I, I thought it was pretty cool but anyway there you go basically uh, just a really uh, Economic <laughs> an economical spacecraft escape pod system with uh, cryo sleep or no cryo sleep, however, however you want to pretend because there is no cryo sleep in the actual game. But yeah. So anyway, um, if you liked what you saw, <laughs> hit that like button for me. And if you really, 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 really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. I uh, upload content mm, often. Mostly Kerbal Space Program. We also have a membership program if you're interested. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. But anyway, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.